All right, so in today's video, we're going to do a 24 hour watt hour test on this Senville Aura 12,000 BTU heating slash AC. Now we're in AC mode and it is about 90 degrees today. It's going to be pretty much 90 all day. So I wanted to wait until it got warmer to do a test like this. So got the um, meter hooked up. You can see right here. We're sitting at 240 volts. Uh, at idle, it's using three watts. And just kind of give you the time. So it's 11.24 on a Saturday. And so what we're gonna do is turn this on and um, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it first comes on. When it settles down, uh, it uses around one to 200 watts. But uh, when it first turns on, I think it's around 800 watts, give or take, it uses. Right back. Just as, as a reference, here's the inside unit. I usually keep it on 75 degrees during the day, and I put it at 71 at night. And the room is about uh, 12 by 20, give or take. Yeah, you can see the uh, fan is on right now. And you can see right there, we're using about 900 watts. Now the meter is hooked up to one leg on the 240 volt circuit, on the hot leg right now. So you can see we're using about four amps of current. So what we'll do is we will come back once, again, I just turned this on so it, it'll settle down once it, once it gets running for a bit. But just so you can see kind of what the peak, peak kilowatt hour usage is when it first comes on, it's about a, a thousand, 800 to a thousand, 800 watts to a thousand. So if I were sizing a generator or something up to this, I believe um, like any of the 2000 watt generators would, would work sufficiently. I have a Honda EU2000, so it would definitely um, start this up without issues. And these ramp up because these are inverter um, ACs. So what I'm also going to show you is I actually wired in a, uh, a transfer switch so that I could run this off of my uh, solar as well. So I have a 5,000 watt hour battery over there and I got six solar panels. These catch the, uh, these catch the uh, solar in the morning and then these catch it in the afternoon. And I'm experimenting right now. I'm probably gonna end up putting them in the middle and then facing them, orientating them uh, towards the, towards me actually, towards where the camera's pointing at. Anyway, you can see we're still using about one kilowatt. So what we'll do is we'll come back in a bit once it settles down and I'll show you what it kind of uses once it, once it first turns on and uh, gets settled in. All right, so here we are. It's about 1.10 in the afternoon. And you can kind of see the wattage used now. So <clears throat> it's 140 watts it's using at the moment. And so far, 520 watt hours. So I think I turned this on at around 11. So what's that, two hours? So give or take, it's been averaging a little bit over 250 watt uh, watts an hour, which isn't bad. Okay, well here we are, 8.30 a.m. I don't know how well that could be read, but it looks like we're using eight watts right now, which means it's off. And we've used 4.22 kilowatt hours so far. So we got about three hours left to get to 24 hours. And you can see that the fan's not spinning. So the um, house did cool down quite comfortably overnight. And we'll see where we're at at 11 o'clock. Okay, so here we are. About 24 hours later, you can see here, 
is now Sunday and almost 11.20 and I think we started this at 11.24 yesterday. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and take a look. <clears throat> Currently using 140 watts and we've consumed, let's just call it 4.6 kilowatt hours. So 4,600 watts over the course of 24 hours. So what I've done here, just to show you, is I have a um, transfer switch in here. And these middle two are the um, mini split. So what I have the ability to do here is transfer this power to battery. Now over here, I have a inverter inside there the batteries inside there and i have a transformer down here so that's 120 volt to 240 volt transformer now in hindsight what i should have probably done is they do make these mini splits where you can plug solar panels directly into them so what i could have did was just bought that model i didn't realize they they had that ability to do that um so the model basically switches between house power and solar. So if solar is not supplying enough, instantly the uh, electric mains power kicks in. It's a really nice setup. But this model here actually allows me to run this overnight on this battery. Now that battery is basically 5,000 watts battery in there. And I had a uh, 120, 240 volt inverter. It's actually in the bottom of that, but um. The reason I switched to 120 is because this inverter uses less wattage than the bigger one at the bottom. Plus it's not uh, as noisy. The one on the bottom, when the fans kick on, it sounds like a jet engine. This one here is a, a lot quieter. So I'm using a TriStar MPPT controller down here to bring in the electricity and the batteries are underneath this, uh, kind of see the BMS there and the batteries are underneath there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch this over. So um, I'm gonna turn on the inverter. That'll sec take a second or two to come on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, now if this has been running almost 24 hours, you can kind of see, like I said, we'll just call it up 4.6 kilowatts. So technically I could run this AC off of a fully charged battery for a day. Um, there are other options, right? It depends on how much sun, how cloudy, uh, how much uh, that battery would get charged up. Um, could go with a bigger battery, could go with more solar panels if I wanted to keep it 100% off grid or without using mains power. But it's not a big deal for me to switch to some cloudy days to the um, mains power. But anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and put it on battery now. So we're gonna shut this uh, breaker off here. That's gonna go dead. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna flip it, the breakers to a generator, which is solar in my case. So you're gonna see, we got that up. This should come back on here. Actually, <clears throat> this won't come on here because I have the power coming into the breaker. But if I wanted this to come on, I'd have to run it into um, here to get the power. So it has no power right now. But um, it is running on generator. We'll call it the batteries right now. And but the inside unit will be on right now. And um, typically it's about five minutes when you lose power and power something back up. If I would have done it fast enough, um, basically what I could have done was turn that switch first and then cut the breaker. 
probably would have been a little bit faster, but nonetheless, um, we'll go inside just to kind of show you outside temperature. So, no. So you can kind of see there, the inside unit's on and the fan is on. You could actually see that, that moving up and down. Um, so yeah, side moving. So it's now running on the battery. And again, that battery is fully charged. It's a 5,000 watt battery that will last 24 hours. So it'll actually last longer than that because um, right now, the sun's out and uh, the battery's continually being charged. So basically I'm running this air conditioner right now when the sun's out, really at no cost, electrical wise, meaning that the sun's supplying all the electricity that the, ba uh, that the batteries need and the, um, that the batteries need for the uh, mini split.